Rudy asks, were the Ten Commandments a rocking success? Rudy, not really. Before the Ten Commandments, Hashem tells the people to prepare for Bimshoch HaYovel so that they can come up the mountain. The Yovel is the Jubilee, a special period when the destruction of time is nullified. The Torah only twice uses Bimshoch, which means continue in modern Hebrew, as a verb. The other time being when the people are commanded to get Paschal lambs. Both cases herald transformative change. With the Ten Commandments, the people have an opportunity to enter a timeless reality. But this fundamental transformation doesn't occur. Like the Jubilee itself, it requires both trust and holiness. But the people tremble, implying not fear of God, but terror. And then the priests confuse self-segregation with holiness. The people hear God deliver the don't break stuff commandments, but they can't handle any more. So the people themselves ask Moshe to speak instead of God. They are not ready to be governed directly by God. The laws that follow are the first steps towards repairing that shortcoming. This brings us to our next question. Kyle asks, what's with the commandments right after the Ten Commandments? What are these laws? First, the people are reminded of our encounter with God. Next, they are told not to create images of God in silver or gold. Then they are told to make an earthen altar for offerings. Next, if they do make a stone altar, it can't be fashioned by tools. Finally, we are commanded not to have steps leading up to the altar so that our ervat is not exposed. Ervat implies fault. In living humans, our waste is a continual sign of our limitations. What themes are established? First, we are not to worship our own images of God. Second, we should invest in the timeless in order to relate to God. Third, we shouldn't spoil the tools of our relationship with God by a necessary change. And finally, when we approach God, we take on the timeless purity of the divine rather than bringing the divine down to our level. These themes run throughout the Torah serving as the framework that can ultimately elevate the people as a whole.